Right, what's up guys and welcome back to the Zolfa Club and welcome back to another episode of Mass League with Arsenal SC on PES 2018 and if you guys haven't checked out the first episode of the series, link will be down in the description below. It was a fantastic intro to the new season with Arsenal as uh, we took on Chelsea in the FA Community Shield and uh, spoiler alert, of course we did manage to get the win, 2-0 win Goal from Alexandre Lacazette on his debut and Granit Xhaka, cracking goal by Granit Xhaka, sealed the deal. We have two games today in the Barclays Premier League, one against Manchester City and one against AFC Bournemouth, both at home, so uh, hopefully you can get all three points. Right, so the first game of the season in the Premier League, it's Arsenal FC against Manchester City, who have the likes of De Bruyne, Aguero, Gabriel Jesus, a lot of attacking threat up there, but we do have Lacazette, Alexis Sanchez and Ozil in the front three that could cause some havoc in that Manchester City defense. Probably our strongest possible starting 11 right now. So um, see where things go with this side. Hopefully I can get a couple more signings in before the um, transfer window closes and uh, just to strengthen the squad a bit. But uh, hopefully all three points in North London. Right, so the Premier League is back and this is the first game of the season. Match day number one, Arsenal at home at the Emirates Stadium against Manchester City. Pep Guardiola's side, no easy task to go over. To get that win, possibly, it's going to be a hard, hard ask. Especially the home crowd not really liking the transfer policy for Arsenal in real life and maybe in Master League, who knows? It's just really tough to get signings in. Maybe to sell Arsene Wenger feels in real life, but Alexander Lacazette will start the game alongside Alexis and Ozil who both need strong games today so hopefully they can deliver hopefully we get some goals between the front three hopefully we keep a clean sheet no stupid mistakes out the back as we take a look at the sides right there Arsenal in their red and white Manchester City in their blue and white kits and uh, Man City man it looked really good this year I'm not gonna lie it looked really good under Pep Guardiola's second season Let's take a look at Arsenal's side. Petr Cech starts in goal. Mustafi Koscielny and Monreal in defence. Ramsey and Shaka in that holding midfield role. Glasnach, Bellerin, wingbacks. Ozil, Alexis and Lacazette up top. Barca Edison making his Premier League debut for Manchester City as well. There's a glimpse of Sayan Kolasinac for Arsenal. Here's Manchester City. Edison starts in goal. Company is back captain in the side once again. Always good to see him fit and going. Aguero and Gabriel Jesus will start up top. Gonna cause a lot of, a lot of havoc for all that Arsenal defence but hopefully we can cope up and hopefully we can get all three points. Fourth minute in is Hector Bellerin. Mr. Dursil needs a big season this year. Alexis Sanchez ball on the top looking for Lacazette. Oh Lacazette's got there! Lacazette! There's the first goal for Arsenal! In the 5th minute, in the 6th minute I should say, and it's Alexander Lacazette. What a start he's having in an Arsenal shirt so far. A simple ball over the top by Alexis Sanchez. Don't know what Mangala was doing there really. And Pep Guardiola is not going to be happy about that. Lacazette will take it gladly. It's 1-0 to Arsenal early on. Manchester City trying to get back right into it. Lovely ball by Aguero, here's Kevin De Bruyne, Kolasinac there with him, he's past Kolasinac, De Bruyne, fantastic save, oh no, it's off Laurent Koscielny I believe it is, it's an own goal for Arsenal and Manchester City are right back in it, end to end stuff so far in the first few opening minutes of this first game of the season, Kolasinac really should be stronger in that situation, great save by Petr Cech, but nothing he could do about the rebound, Koscielny own goal, it's one all, not really what you want. Bellerin, lovely ball for Alexis Sanchez. This is a tricky and pacey customer to deal with. Lovely through ball, good run by Lacazette. It's Alexander Lacazette for two. He got the better of company, but his shot just goes wide and over. Lovely counter attack, instigated by the Chilean international. You would put your money or your house on Lacazette, finishing that off to make it 2-1. Remains 1 all. Should have taken a chance, maybe. Right, guys, and there is half time. Not gonna lie to you, it's been a rather dull and boring game. 
Besides the goals, the goal from Lacazette to make it 1-0 for Arsenal early on and then the calamity, the disaster at the back for Laurent Koscielny to equalise for Manchester City. It's not really what you want from a uh, curtain raiser in the Barclays Premier League. Hopefully second half is better. Here come Arsenal, Hector Bellerin who's got pace. Another great throw ball. Lacazette, great turn to fake and he puts it wide this time again. He knows that was a big opportunity. Once more, he's making some excellent runs to latch onto the ball. Great turn, fake shot that to get Busman Gala again. This time he chose to go to the near post. Lucky again, my man. Remains one all. Aguero. Lovely ball on top for Jesus. Maybe he should have chested it down and took his chance. Here's Mr. Durzil. He's been rather anonymous in this game, really. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Here he is. Ozil. Alexis Sanchez. Maybe the only player to start something for Arsenal. Ramsey's got some space. Straight at Edison in goal. Arsenal making three substitutions all at once. Wilshire, Giroud, and Seri making his debut. Right, so let's see what they can do for the gunners in this second half. Arsenal still coming strong in the second half. Alexis Sanchez finding Kolasinac. The ball over the top for Giroud. Oh, he's going wide. Edison is not happy at all with his defenders there. And rightfully so. No one getting up too close to Sad Kolasinac with the cross. Giroud, free header, but always off balance. Looks like it's going to end in a draw, folks. Maybe one last chance. Bellerin, here's Jack Wilshire. Always lovely to see him in an Arsenal shirt. It's a great ball for Hector Bellerin. Giroud's waiting. Oh, he just went over him. That might have been the chance for Olivier Giroud off the bench. And there is the full time whistle, guys. It remains 1 0 at full time. Lacazette got us up and running early on, and then that disastrous moment at the back from Lauren Koscielny made it 1 0. And nothing really changed from then on. But uh, not the best or most exciting Premier League game you'll ever see in your entire life, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. Look at the stats. They're pretty even. Everything was even, really. The man of the match was the new boy himself, Alexandre Lacazette. Right, so here are the results for match day number one. Manchester United getting a win. Tottenham getting a win as well. Everton 0-0. Chelsea getting a win. Liverpool getting a win. All the big teams going to win except for Arsenal and Manchester City. So hopefully we get a win in uh, our next game. Bottom three look like that. So we have an offer for Theo Walcott and there's been an update in the transfer of Van Dijk. Unfortunately, Lamar looks like it's not going to happen, guys. So I'm not going to force it maybe in the summer transfer window. We could get him in the January transfer window. But let's take a look at that Walcott offer for West Bromwich Albion. So his market value is 17, but they want about 3 million for him. Let's try to renegotiate and see how much. They want. They only want him for six months, okay. Is it even worth it to get about 3 million for him? I'm not too sure, man. I'm really not too sure. I mean, I do want him off, my, off the books because he is taking a large chunk of the salary in the club, but um, Maybe you could find something better for him because, uh, you know, he's been a loyal servant for us and whatnot. So they do want him for six months initially. But let's try to go and do that first. And then let's take a look at that Van Dyke update. Okay, so they do want 19 million, almost 20 million from Van Dyke for four years. Uh, Lamar is not going to happen, I don't think, but let's just try and continue negotiations with him. I do want him in the side before the summer window closes. But both have broken down for Lamar and Walcott, so it looks like that Walcott move is off. They initially just wanted six months West Bromwich Albion. Looks like that's not gonna, going to happen. But um, hopefully more offers do come in for Theo. But let's take a look at this one more time, and I don't think we can do anything about that after all, so Walcott is off, that move is off, and Dyke still remains on the table. Let's try to renegotiate the transfer policy. Let's take a look at the chances of signing if we just play around with the transfer fee. 
and the annual salary. To be honest with you, we can't afford him, but I'm afraid that with the salaries for our different players, if you want to renew their contracts, if they want more money, we won't have enough. So I have to be worry, wary about that, I should say, just to keep that in the back of my mind because, uh, you know, players do want a uh, lot of money nowadays. So let's take a look at that and hopefully maybe some good news for Virgil van Dijk. Right, so here we can take a look at the conditions and status of each player who's on international duty and whatnot. So that's pretty cool to see. I think it's new in this uh, this year, maybe not. Seri just signing on as well. So moving on into our next game of the episode, we are facing AFC Bournemouth, the team that I play for, I was also placed for in the Become a Legend series. Check it out if you guys haven't done so already. But I think I'm going to be sticking with the same side that I did against Manchester City in that first game. Everyone looks good in terms of condition and status. Hopefully more goals to come from Lacazette, Alexis and Ozil up top. But the main important thing is that hopefully we get all three points in the bag. Welcome to match day number two in the Premier League. At the Emirates Stadium again, Arsenal FC against AFC Bournemouth in today's game game. Arsenal looking for their first three points of the season. Hopefully that can happen, that can materialise in this game with the likes of Lacazette and Alexis up top. So let's see what the Gunners are made of this season. Potential is there. It just so happens to be whether they can deliver or not. Jacka. Alexis Sanchez gets away from his man easily. Alexis Sanchez rattles the post. In the third minute, goodness me, what a strike from the little Chilean. Arsenal dominating early on in this game. Lovely ball by Ozil for Lacazette on his left. Easy save in the end in the near post from Arthur Boric in Gil. Arsenal really playing some lovely football. In his first few opening minutes, Lacazette through again. Trying to go for the near post. Bonic had it covered though, corner for Arsenal, Granny Shaka will take, left footer, over the top, what the head up, I think that, that was Hector Bellerin, found himself in the box, low, corner kick by Shaka, maybe should have been better on the delivery, still a chance though, here come Bournemouth now, Benic Afobe, great turn, it's Afobe! Straight at Petr Cech, former Arsenal boy, of course. Corner for AFC Bournemouth, taken by Luand. Easily dealt with by the Arsenal defenders, and oh my goodness me, what a strike that was by Frazier. Ozil caught ball watching, it was a fantastic save by Petr Cech as well. Decent effort there by Frazier. Bournemouth get another corner on the other side. Let's see if the delivery is better this time, Luard will take. On the left foot again, fantastic cross and there's the goal! Oh my goodness me, Callum Wilson has scored for Bournemouth! And he has shot the Emirates faithful here. Oh my goodness me, don't know who is marking him, I think that was Alexis who was marking him. The wrong person on a person like that, goodness me it's 1-0. Arsenal trying to get back as soon as possible. Here's Alexis Sanchez driving through again. Surely there's got to be the equaliser. Surely. Oh my goodness me. Still can't find the back of the net. Alexis. Arsenal really needed to take that chance. It's a good play between three front players there. But surely he's got to score there. Surely he's got to put that in the far corner. Xhaka with another corner for the Gunners. It's a great header again, over the top. I think that might have been Bellerin again, actually. Not really too sure that time, but still, nonetheless, Arsenal need to get back in this as soon as possible. And there is half time, guys. A shock at the Emirates so far. Arsenal poorly, poor defensively, I should say. Down 1-0 against Bournemouth. They need to do better in the second. Early on here in the second half, Arsenal trying to get back into the game. Lovely one-touch passing. Lacazette, here's Alexis, surely for one all. There it is. Cool as you like, but that 
with some of the most beautiful and exquisite football you'll ever see from the Gunners this season. Look at this one touch passing for the build up. Shaka plays in Lacazette. Lovely through ball for the Chilean who slots it past Arthur Boric. Finally, he's up and running this season. It's one all and it's game on. Here's Kodran Mustafi who's having a much better second half. Alexis gets past his man once again. Alexis still going, Alexis. He finds Sayad Kolasinac. Fantastic strike. An absolute beauty from Sayad Kolasinac. The new signing announces himself in an Arsenal shirt in front of the Emirates faithful. And he's becoming a fan favourite nonetheless. He gets up and running for himself in the Premier League. But what a run from Alexis Sanchez. And Kolasinac with a hammer of a left foot. Straight past Bonic. Arsenal take the lead. The comeback is complete. It's 2-1. Arsenal making a few changes in the second half. Lacazette off for Giroud. Wilshere is also on for the Gunners. Head to Bellerin. Arsenal want to finish this game right before full time. Head to Bellerin. Again, Giroud waiting in the middle. It's Olivier Giroud. In the end, Boric made the save. He had to that time. Arsenal want that third goal. Ozil almost lost the ball. Is Nacho Monreal, Xhaka, Kolasnac, well, maybe a foul there, referee says play on, here's Giroud, Ozil's continued his run, is Mesut Ozil, there it is, he's had a poor game today, I'm not going to lie to you, but he gets on the score sheet as well in the 83rd minute, and Mesut Ozil maybe getting some confidence back into his game with that goal. Again, it's lovely football by the Gunners. Olivier Giroud this time. Great turn to get away from his man. And that pass is sublime. Uzil with a lovely finish. Pass Arthur Boric in goal. And surely now Arsenal will take all three points in this game. Late chance for Bournemouth maybe. It's Callum Wilson. It's just wide but doesn't matter. There is the full time whistle. Bournemouth... What better side really in that first half, but Arsenal came all guns blazing in the second goal from Alexis Kalasinac and Mesut Ozil sealed the deal for the Gunners who grab all three points in the bag for the first time this season. So it's good, stuff, good stuff I should say to see from the Gunners. Man of the match was the Chilean superstar Alexis. So here are the breakdown of the results for match day number two. Some uh, interesting results I want to say, but really all the big teams coming out on top. Nonetheless, Arsenal climbing up to sixth now, which is always good to see. Up and running in the Premier League. Lionel Messi is voted UEFA best player in Europe from last season. Right guys, so the Virgil van Dijk transfer is still on the table, but they want almost 30 million for him for four years. And uh, with Theo Walcott as well on the uh, trade list. And uh, I don't know if it's going to happen, guys. I really don't know if it's going to happen. They want almost 30 million for him. I can still try for him. I'm going to keep my options open nonetheless but that is going to be it for today's episode hopefully you guys enjoyed another episode of master league with arsenal fc if you guys did please leave a like rating down below as per usual and if you're new around here why not go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as it'd be truly and greatly appreciated as you guys can see for the next episode we do have a game against West Ham and then the transfer deadline day is upon us. But that's for next episode. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thanks again for tuning in for more Mass League on PES 2018. And remember to keep it real.